Rosanna Deerchild. Topic, residential schools. This class is studying poetry through inquiry-based learning. But there's something different about this lesson. For me, the point really of the lesson was to reiterate some of the topics and themes they've been studying with First Nation, Métis and Inuit content. And the students in this grade 8 core class know it. This knowledge has been embedded into the foundations of their daily learning. Their perspectives have changed. As a result, they can now move towards a deeper understanding. To paraphrase Marie Sinclair a little bit, um, education leads to understanding and understanding leads to reconciliation. So I think that's a very important piece. They need to learn about um, not just residential schools, other issues. This is the perfect age, I believe, to hook them into some of these things. So the response from the students has been overwhelming. And it shows, but not just with these students. All around the province, people of all ages are beginning to take greater interest in the truths of the past. How does that relate to residential schools? Indigenous history is our history. In past experiences that we have had as adults in the education system, it frankly has been missing. And I think the commitment that we want to make is that it won't be missing for this generation of students. We're going to conduct a social experiment today to help you better appreciate and understand the struggles that the students who attended the school had to face. We're aware of much more now and, and I think there is a, a strong appetite and desire for us to address some of these issues. Um, that won't happen without a well-educated community and so the, the starting point is for our, our educators to be aware and have a good understanding of the issues and then for them to be able to provide students with opportunities to learn and uh, gain an understanding of, of what needs to happen. Getting educated on these topics can really help because then we're learning more about like what's happening and everything so then we have a better understanding of what we're trying to like heal and everything. Something has happened in the last year or two. The issues have become clearer, they've become more widely known and people are more open to learning about them. Just with more and more talk about reconciliation, people feel like the change can happen in education, right? Like that's such a, a bit powerful motivator for teaching. Like we can make changes here, we can change perspectives, and we can change um, change beliefs. Creating that change is really going to move us forward in truth and reconciliation. So it's very important that we ensure that we highlight that and students know what that means. We really believe in our our children that we're educating them to be agents of change. I don't think that you can listen to the stories of Indigenous people. And, and not be affected as a, as a person um, and then feel a need to do something. Kids can uh, carry their traditions when they're older and they can teach their families for generations because you don't want to forget something like this. It's very important. There is momentum around First Nation, Métis and Inuit education and in its implementation, schools are embracing their role. When you hear the anthem being played, whether it's a trilingual or a unilingual version of one of our Indigenous languages, or whether you hear an acknowledgement of the territory you're on. When I'm seeing different authors and books being used, not just because they're part of the First Nations unit or Social Studies unit, but because it's part of the regular integration into the language or arts class, that to me is, is what we need to be doing because it's, it's not negating or omitting or um, limiting the knowledge that's here, it's actually holding it up as also being worthy of having a place within the educational system, which it does. It's amazing that we're able to bring culture into our schools now, whereas before it was frowned upon. And it's my generation and my children's generation that are now more acceptable to it. We have more open perspectives and it's, it's welcomed here. It's, it's a dream that our parents and grandparents never had. It's our young people growing up learning about the diversity of perspectives and identities that will be the change makers and will be the agents for improvement. Walking that, that good path, uh, treating students with respect, embracing and being inclusive to, to all groups, not just Indigenous people. Uh, I think those things work for everyone, including, including us. And yeah, I, I do think that a little, that emphasis on 
Aboriginal people, Indigenous people is important and will help those students that are Indigenous within your classroom become more self-aware, but also to help the other students around them to, to have a greater understanding of what being Indigenous in Canada is like. Nobody knows the value of an education than a person that doesn't have the education. There's so much potential the kids have today, so much opportunities that they have. There's so much out there that I want them to feel comfortable in pursuing those, those opportunities, pursuing a, a better life. It's all going to, I think, end in a better education system. It's going to end in more well-rounded um, students. First Nation, Métis, Inuit, and non-First Nation, Métis, and Inuit. It's going to end in a more um, aware and cohesive relationship in society in Canada. Just like that? Yep, perfect. And I've so. talked to some Indigenous people. Now, I've been impressed with their level of hope and belief that things can change. Um, when at times things look so complicated and so difficult, you wonder how, how we do move ahead. Um, but their hopefulness, I think, has given me hope. And I, as I listened to some of our students today, they talked about being hopeful. And, uh, and I think that if we have that hope, then we can accomplish a lot of things. You need something that really hits you to actually understand what's going on and want to make a change. The impacts of curriculum reform around First Nation, Métis and Inuit education are being felt around the province. I think the passion that the students have brought into the classroom has just been electric. When they come back and tell me that uh, they're talking to their peers and their family and friends, and then also occasion parents have come back to say that they're learning a lot through their students, and I, it makes me feel very hopeful that reconciliation will move with our youth. This generation, uh, it's, it's so funny, we're always trying to solve the problems that we made, thinking that the kids that we're teaching have the same problems. They have none of the hang-ups that we had. And I think that gives me great hope. These polls could benefit you in the long term. So for food, I think it would be a good trade. It's one of the most impactful things I think we can do is the education. And that's what gives me hope, is the fact that we can do something to change what is going to happen. Um, I want to be a nurse. You want to be a nurse? Perfect. There we go. I think one of the only things we can do is make awareness. We can't change it what happened, so we kind of have to change the future. Like, they can use them on these so people and make them have happen. better lives. By learning we can to, like do something about it because now we know what's happening and like if if not me, other people are in. If we just keep passing it on, everyone will know and just by sharing it, you'll spread the like, message. It's a part of me. It's my culture. It's it's, I don't know, it's just something inside me that, that won't go away. I'm proud to be Aboriginal. It's good that we're starting to talk about it. You know. I, I moved to Canada th three years ago, and I'm not a citizen yet. And I, I moved actually from Africa, and uh, I can sort of uh, relate to uh, what the Aboriginals have been going through in Canada. We have to help them. If we can do that, we, we can start changing everything. You know? So it's little steps at a time. We can't change the world in a day. You know, we have to start now. We the Métis were important middlemen in the fur trade. As students, we can actually make a bigger impact than a lot of people because if we notice something and there's a lot more of us, we can bring awareness to it. We are responsible for creating a better relationship as we move forward. I'm very hopeful for the future. With knowledge comes people who are willing to make a change and with with education. Our generation can um, move forward with the reconciliation and move forward as a country and in, in trying to better ourselves as individuals and as a society. This is going to happen one person, one school, one project at a time. I really feel for me this is a passion and I believe for the students it's the best possible thing I could be offering them so I put blinders on and just move forward. I believe every day, I walk in my building believing every day that, um, that we can make a change. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a story. A long time ago there was a grandfather and who had a son who was the same age as you guys. I think by far this is my favorite one so far. 
your openness to the experience and your honesty about how you feel about it are really important. Thank you all for that. Miigwech. Guys, we're right in the heart of it. I don't know, it just helps me concentrate a little better when I'm outside.